Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's part two of my removing a time part from a date time field. In part one on Friday, we learned how to do this manually. And in today's class, we're going to see how to automate it with a little VBA. So we're going to switch this to a developer level class. What does developer mean? Well, that means we're going to use a little VBA. So if you've never done any VBA programming before and you want to, go watch this video first, about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know to get started. And go watch this video, which teaches you the basics of SQL. We're going to use a little bit of SQL today to uh, automate some of this stuff. So these are both free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch those. And of course, go watch part one first if you haven't yet watched that one. So you know what we're doing. All right, so in part one, we imported data into our import T. And then we ran an update query to fix that, right? Um, but the whole point is to be able to automate this with like a click. Like you click the button, pff, it's done, right? We want to use VBA code to automate this stuff. Now, I recommend you run the import once manually like I showed you. And then come in here and fix those fields. So you got, you know, this is a whatever you want these to be. This would be a number of type long integer if you want. Uh, it's, it's a double now. I'm gonna change that to a long integer. Um, just because if it's coming from any kind of a, you know, SQL server or another access database, it's gonna be a number. But of course, use whatever you need. If you need text in here, that's fine too. Change this to a date time, change this to a currency, get your fields the way you want. Just make sure that the field names still match the column headers in the spreadsheet. All right, that is important. They gotta match still. Right, and if they change the spreadsheet on you, you'll just have to come in here and change these. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna use a little bit of SQL to clear the data out of this table, the import table, right? If you wanna save it, you can save it too, that's fine. Do whatever you want with it, move it to another table, I don't care. Okay, then we'll run the import, which is one line of code. Then we'll run the update query. Now you can either run this one with a do command open query, or you can just do it yourself with another line of code and get rid of this query. I like to remove these queries whenever possible. I mean, if you need them, great. These queries over here are fine. You don't have to get rid of all of them. I have a bunch in my database still. These are really good for doing queries with subqueries, right? If you got a query that's complicated, you got to break it down to three or four steps, right? One query does this, the next query takes that data and does something else. That's fine. That's what these are here for. All right, I use them in SQL Server too. They're called views. But if it's a simple one like this and I can replace it with a single line of, of code, I prefer doing that, okay? So I'm gonna leave this one in here for you guys so you have it for the sample database, but eh, we don't really need it. So let's go into our VB here and I'm gonna hijack this hello world button. We'll call this the uh, do import button. And I'm gonna right click and build event. That'll go into my code builder. Let me just move this thing over here. I was doing some work earlier. I, we don't need the project explorer there. I almost never need that with access. I was working with Excel earlier. In Excel, I use it all the time. All right, so we're down here in our Hello World button click. You can rename the button if you want to. I'm not going to bother. All right, and we're going to stay. We're going to start off with status processing import. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out the import table, right? So it's going to be current DB dot execute. And then our SQL statement to delete the data from the import table. And it's really simple. Delete from import T. That's it. That says delete all the records from that table. We're good. All right, save it if you want to test it and see how it works. Close it, open it, hit the button, and if you check your table, there you go, everything's gone. Okay. Now, the next line of code is going to be to actually do the import. All right, and for that, we're going to use do command dot transfer spreadsheet. I have a whole separate video on transfer spreadsheet if you want to learn more about it. This is it here. Go watch that, and I cover it in a bunch of my classes too. All right, transfer spreadsheet. We're gonna go AC import, comma. It's gonna ask you for what version of, of Excel you want. I just hit comma for that and use the default because it'll always update to the most recent one. The table name is gonna be import T. That's why I like running it first. So you got it there and it's defined, right? The file name is gonna be the full name to where your file is. For me, that looks like that. It's G, my drive, spreadsheet, sample orders, XLS. Okay, and finally, has field names as the last parameter there. Here, let me move this over so you can see it. Oh, I lost it. Come here. Come back here. Ah, there it is. Has field names. You want to make sure that's a true. I believe true is the default. 
The last two options are range and use OA. Don't worry about those. Okay. That will import the data into the spreadsheet, into the, into the table from the spreadsheet. All right. You want to test that? Let's go back over here. Hit the button. Burm, open it up and looks good. There's the data and it's got all the times in it. Now we just got to run another step to clear out all those times. And again, you could do do command open query and run this guy, or you could just do what's in this query. Watch this, right click SQL view. There's your command right there, right? If you don't want to learn all of SQL, you can just build it with the, with the query builder and just copy this, watch, copy this, copy, right? Close that, come back to your SQ, or to your VBA editor right here. Current DB dot execute, come here dot execute, and then paste that inside the string, just like that. Okay. Now I would clean this up just a little bit because we don't need the import T dot because we only have one table in here. So I can get rid of that. And I don't need the brackets around ordered date time because we don't have any spaces in it. So you can get rid of that. And if you really want to, you can delete that semicolon since there's only one statement in this. So that makes it a little easier to read. All right, and then when you're all done, we'll do a status done and a beep. How's that sound? Save it, debug, compile once in a while, right? Whoop, I just maximized it. I didn't mean to, do <laughs> I just double clicked here by accident. All right, close that, save it, close it, open it, whatever. And here we go, ready, click. And let's take a look. And there it is, it's nice and clean. See that? See that, Maya? Is that gonna save you some time, huh? What do you think? Now, of course, this assumes that you save the file on the same spot every day. I used to do this. I had files I used to get when I used to sell computers. Um, I would download the file that had all the product pricing updates from my distributors. It would have all the, you know, it was a, basically a spreadsheet that had, you know, the product, the product ID, the name, uh, the, the current price, right? And I would just go to their, I would log on to their website, download the spreadsheet. It always had the same file name and it was always in my downloads folder. So I could hard code that into my access database and it, it was perfect. And I just one click after I download the file, one click and it updated all my pricing. And that's it. That's not hard to do. So you can see how just technically one, two, three lines of code can save you, you know, if, even if this only saves you five minutes a day, three minutes a day, right? Over the course of a year, that's what? That's what, three minutes a day times five days a week times, let's say, 50 weeks a year. That's 750 minutes divided by 60. That's 12 hours I just saved you over the course of a year. Just from having a button you can click on to do that. That was, that was taking you three minutes a day before. It's that kind of stuff that Access is amazing for. And it was real easy to set up too, right? All right, so you've seen today and in a lot of my other videos how much Access can save your time and time is, is, is the most precious commodity we have, right? I, I look for ways I can save time every day in the things that I do. Um, but I've got tons of developer lessons on my website where I teach you all kinds of cool stuff like this that will make your job easier, make your business more efficient, save you some time, right? Every, every hour that you invest in learning will save you weeks worth of your life <laughs> for not having to do things manually. So check it out. There's a link to my developer courses. You'll find links to all this stuff down below in the description. Check it out. That's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video.
to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject, and I cover Lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full-length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. 
In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.